I got chills, they're multiplying, and I'm losing control. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. The song's just catchy, and I don't know why I randomly thought of it. All right, is this done being irritating yet? I think we're good. Welcome <laughs> to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here, and today I have a haul video for you guys. I think I'm gonna go crazy if this tries to tilt again, and I think it's doing it right now as we speak. I am very ready. This this little tripod thing is so convenient, and then it just, and then it just isn't all of a sudden. <laughs> okay, I think I finally fixed it. Welcome, and today's video is going to be a haul from ColossalCon 2019. I am so happy. I got some really, really cool stuff, stuff I wasn't expecting, things I didn't know I would see, and I'm really happy, and I have to show you all this awesome stuff that I got. Hopefully you enjoy this video, because I certainly enjoyed collecting all of it, and I enjoy showing all of it to you guys. I'm going to start off with artwork. I think that would be the easiest way to start the haul off on. I'm really happy about all the artwork I got. Very excited. The amount of times I say excited in a video is so annoying and I cannot stand it when I look back and edit, but it's like, well, can't refilm some of it. So, oh well. We're gonna start out with these really awesome things that I got. So this in fact is a piece of artwork that was done by somebody who has, I don't know, She's she knows about Azur Lane and she is so talented. I got a few art pieces from her. She so freaking amazing. I saw this and I was like, I have to get it. I don't care if that's the only thing I get this convention. That's the thing I'm getting. And it's just amazing. And she's so cute. Unicorn is my favorite in Azur Lane. She is just by far my favorite ship. I don't know why. I just really, really love her. I'm really drawn to her. I think she's really cute and sweet and innocent. I even have a Dakamakura of her upstairs. So that's impeccable. I also got a little print from her as well. It's just unicorn looking so adorable as usual. Look how cute. Unicorn, come on in. I don't know if I even said that right. Was that, did I say her line right? Also, if I'm able to find the person, I'm going to actually put their artist name somewhere on here because they do deserve credit for all of the work they did and just so freaking amazing, such talent. I think I actually only got one art piece from her, but Mikey got majority of stuff that we both liked and I'm just, I'm stunned. This was done by her and it's an Evie Lucian's poster. It is so beautiful. It is stunning. The artwork is just impeccable. Like, I don't know how she does it. Her style is just something that I am incredibly drawn to. I'm definitely going to frame this and hang it up. So I had a huge crush on this guy when I was younger. All the time I would be like, mm, Axel, he's so cute. And I loved him so much. I had an obsession and this art makes him look so bomb. He's just a good looking dude and I'm happy to have him and I'm going to be hanging him on my wall. So all three of these next pieces I'm pretty sure are the same artist. This first piece I got is another Evolutions piece and it's just so cute. If you dream it, you can become it. It's so cute. I mean, look at them. I mean, Evie could just grow up to be whatever it wants. And that's just so inspiring to me just in general because I've always never really believed in myself. And I've always thought I can try to be this, but I don't think I'll be as good at it or I won't be successful. And it's hard because I'm so down on myself. And this poster will remind me that I can pretty much dream and be what I wanna be. So this guy, beautiful. Fire Emblems, Krom. He is, I don't know if Marth is his dad, granddad, I don't even know, but he is of Marth's lineage. And I think actually, yeah, that might be wrong. I, you know what? I don't know. It's so convoluted at this point for me because I haven't really gone that in depth in Fire Emblem. I do love it, but I don't know much about the different characters, lineages and stuff like that. But he is so cute. First of all, he is so good looking because obviously if he is related to Marth, like Marth is the best. I love Marth so freaking much. But yeah, Krom looks pretty daddy in this, if I do say so. I just said daddy. I, I hate myself. I'm done. I'm done existing. Just goodbye. Okay, so this one, Link. Holy cow. I have a ton of, like, Link stuff already, but I don't know. Like, I have a Link poster hanging up there. Well, it's Legend of Zelda, it says at the top, but it is mostly just all the different variants of Link and just this art. Oh so freaking amazing. It is so good. 
and I just Link I had a crush on Link for a long time as well and I just him and Marth were my main squeezes but there they are so cute again dwarfs you know okay so this one I'm really happy about it's a Miku art piece that is just so cute and it's square first of all I keep saying cute I hate myself but this is just the art is so pretty I love this color scheme that they used and her face is very well done her everything is just very well done in this the structure of the composition is nice I like that it's square I don't see that very often super pretty art this one I have not watched Sailor Moon in such a long time but this is beautiful like this art is just so dazzling i love sailor moon and for some reason i have a penchant for blonde girls in anime i don't know why but i like people who are blonde in anime and not even men like i prefer girls who are blonde and this isn't a real life thing i don't know why yeah this was just i saw this and i was like all right i gotta get it i he had a bunch of other sailor moon ones but at the time i was like i'll just get this one for now but it's so so nicely drawn and Sailor Moon I watched as a kid I actually recently started re-watching it to try to relive the old days and also remember all the fun I had watching this we are down to the final two art pieces this is Ryuko from Kill la Kill I love that anime I actually have a couple episodes left but I I am obsessed with it even though I've only seen most of the episodes not all of them but it's so cool she has the scissor and then she has just this pretty dress on i don't know if it's supposed to be like a wedding dress or something but it's gorgeous and i love it the next one i got is also a ryuko <laughs> it's just her in her uniform junkets it's junkets and she's got the scissors again she just looks so cool in this outfit beautiful art piece really great anime okay so next stuff i'm going to show you is this i got from a girl who's on youtube she held a panel her name is Liv Dane ix which i'll just put on the screen but she had these cute little things that she, these are alpacas actually and she loves alpacas so she had a bunch of them that she brought to the panel and we all got to pick one and it's just first of all she it's just so cute i'm gonna put this like up somewhere it's weird to me that it's pink because i don't really care for pink but i still was drawn to it so <laughs> there's that so they had this really cool thing where they did everybody could bring like a flea market everybody could bring their own stuff from home that they wanted to try and sell and i first of all think that's amazing i think that's really cool that they allowed people to do that and i got some nice stuff that i am really happy i got some good deals on so the first thing i got is this rapunzel Tsum Tsum. it does have the tag cut off but i really don't care it was cheaper because it had the tag cut off i'm pretty sure because it was only 250. rapunzel's my favorite princess i just love her so much again thing for blonde people i don't know why but also her character is just I love her so much and even in the end when she has her hair cut it's not just because she's blonde it's also because she's just such an inspiring person to me she just wants to live her dream and I guess that's kind of what I want to do is try to live my dreams and you know she has the courage to do that which is awesome so I found these little bracelets that all have Kaito, Rin and Len and Luca on them and they're super adorable I'm pretty sure they're official too because they actually have like the imprints on them and stuff like that unfortunately miku was blah, 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 blah. miku sold before i could purchase that one so i only have these guys but miku's easy enough to hunt down so if i want to complete the set i'm sure i would be able to or i could just get another miku bracelet somewhere these were two dollars each like amazing okay these guys i got they're little nikos niko yozawa from love live and just oh my gosh they're so cute I like Nico and they had some cute little ones of her and they were selling them for like $2.50 each so I decided to grab these guys. They're really cute. Can you turn the camera? Thank you. And I just love them so much. I got this for $5. I'm always needing lanyards because for some reason I have crap luck and they always break on me. So we have this Nightmare Before Christmas lanyard. It seems like really nice quality. Like it seems like really thick and it's just very cool. I don't know. I just, I love the design. It's thick. It's nice. And I always need lanyards because a lot of mine either break or they just get really dirty and then they can't be cleaned. And it's just, it's nice to have extras, especially. So this, I was like, oh my gosh, I need those immediately. She had just set them out and I was, I was like, I want those. <laughs> like she was just sitting at her table. So I got three Vocaloid pop figures. I've got Kagamine Len, 
Hatsune Miku, and Majorin Luka. Or I, it, I, why do I say that? I say Majorin, but that's not right. Magudine Luka. Magudine. I'm pretty sure that's how you would say it. But I got her. I'm really happy about that because I've been looking at getting these online for quite some time. And every time I saw them, they would be like $15, especially like these because they're older. They sold out a lot as well. And they would go up to like, I saw some of them I saw were like $30. And I'm like, why would I ever pay that much for this? So the person was getting rid of them and she's like, oh, I'll take $5 for them. So very, very happy that I found these. So I ended up paying $15 total, $5 each. And I cannot tell you how excited I am. Like this is a major bargain and I can put these up now and I'm so stoked. So the next things that I got would be an Ita bag and some stuff for it. But this Ita bag is really, really adorable. It feels like heavy, thick quality. It was $55, I think almost 60 with tax. Like this is such a nice bag. Like when you open it, it's got a lot of space in here. There's a zipper up in the top right here that you can see. And then you also have this, which is a zipper behind. It's very spacious. And also there's a zipper that protects stuff from here. And if it does fall out, it will just stick in the bottom. It's not gonna just like fly out into your purse. And then if you get stuck with like a pin or something. So that's really nice. This is from the brand Sweet Candy, I guess. I actually had to exchange it when I got it for the first one because there was a hole poked in this like clear vinyl. And I was like, okay, I'm sorry, but if I'm gonna be having stuff in there that I don't wanna lose because keychains and stuff, a lot of it, if it's artwork is not cheap, it's like at least $15 a keychain. And that is just something I'm not willing to cheap out on. Like if, if I get something and it has a hole in it, like I'm sorry, but I paid $60 for this bag. I expect it to be in better condition and it wasn't their fault. I told her and I was like, listen, I, when I bought this, I, I took it home and didn't realize. And she's like, oh, it's no big deal. It probably happened in shipper, shippering. It probably happened in shipping. So don't worry about it. We'll get you a new one. She immediately just took the one after she saw what it was and then gave me this new one. Okay. So keychains wise, I got mostly Miku, I think, but I got this little Sakura Miku eating and she was, I think $8. No, she was nine. I think she was nine. Dude, keychains are expensive. I'm not a pink person, but Sakura Miku is freaking beautiful. I also got a couple freaking snow Mikus that I just want to gobble up. They're so cute. So we have this snow Miku in this pretty dress. I think she's the 2019 snow Miku anniversary. And then this one is also 2019 10th anniversary snow Miku, but that one says 10 with a little gift bow on it. And then this is, a cute, they're just so like pretty. I love the blue color. I just, Miku has such awesome like designs and things out for her. Iggy, do you mind? Are you okay? Okay. But yeah, here is this. Okay, so I saw this and like screamed out of happiness. I mentioned earlier that I really like Marth. Somebody had drawn a keychain of him and he has a little keychain that I was able to purchase from a booth. Look how cute. Oh, he's, he's my baby right next to Unicorn. Oh, the other thing that they had that was really, really awesome is this light strand. I was wondering, I was like, where the heck do you get these from? Then I asked Mike, he's like, you know what? I'm not sure. The place where I bought the bag, we walked past there and happened to see I was like oh they have lights Mikey and he was like oh cool and I was like how much are they she was like yeah these are ten dollars and I was like okay I have to get them even if I don't get a bag because that's before I bought the bag I'm going to put them in any to bag because look how cool that is and it like puts it around the edge so you can light up whatever's in the bag which I am so so excited about because I've seen people with the lights and I was like where do you get these but you can actually buy them and that's really awesome. And you can even replace the batteries because it's got screws and things in there. I'm in love with this. Okay, so I got two keychains from this one booth that had really adorable stuff. There's Jesse and James from Pokemon with Meowth. And then there's the four links, the tune links that are just so, so adorable. These are some really awesome keychains. They're acrylic and the art on them is very, very pretty. I'm happy that I get to put this in my Ita bag. We have moved on to figures. I did not get that many figures, to be honest, because it's kind of the point where I have decently cheaper figures. So now it's like, okay, I have to get a hold of the pricier figures that I've been wanting for a while or that I didn't know I wanted. So 
here are the figures that I got, right? This first one is EXQ figure. It's the Racing Miku from 2018 and the Team Ukyo version, I guess. And I thought she was really adorable. Somebody had her out at a stand and I saw and I thought she was really adorable. I just love Miku in general. So honestly, anything that is Miku, I'm pretty much sold on. She's just amazing and Vocaloid is something that I hold near and dear to my heart. But her figure is in here, safe and sound until I unbox her, which I'm going to do unboxings on my channel. All right, I have a cute little supersonic out here, but there she is in her box. I don't know why, but I saw this and it was such like a 90s vibe to me for some reason. And I was like, I love that. And Supersonico, I think, was just a character that ended up being really popular. She got an anime. If you know anything about Supersonico, feel free to go off in the comments because I don't really know much about her and I would like to learn more. So yeah, she's really cute. I love her style and I was just drawn to her. She was 30 bucks too, so she wasn't in the expensive category for sure. Okay, these guys, they're kind of not that appropriate, but... You're gonna see him anyway. This is Satsuki from Kill a Kill. And I like this character a lot. I think she's cool. I think she's pretty much bomb.com. And yeah, you can see that she's like in the lewd, but that's pretty much how the show is. And if you haven't seen the show, then you probably will be like, what the heck is this show about? But yeah, this is one of the figures from that. It's come here, bud. We also got the Ryuko version of it. I love how June Ketz is like hanging on to her. Like that is freaking adorable. But yeah, this figure is really, really adorable. I understand that it is a little on the inappropriate side, but this anime, I'm not sure if they have any like less inappropriate stuff, but I don't know, even if it's like not appropriate to somebody, I still think the figures are really, really beautiful and I'm very happy to have them and add them to my collection. So this one Mikey and I saw and we were very, very excited because we saw it online and we kept seeing it for like 200 something dollars. And I was like, dude, no. But there was somebody selling this for $115. And this is Sena Kashiwazaki in a cow outfit. Yozra would always call her cow because she has large breasts <laughs> and it was always funny. This anime does have nudity in it. So if you don't like nudity, I would steer clear of this one but it is funny, it's funny nudity, and I don't know, some people don't find it funny, but she's gorgeous, and I'm very happy to add her to my collection as well. So I've been filming for like almost a half hour, so it is time for me to end this video. I'm gonna have some fun editing to do, but that was the stuff that I got at Colossal Con 2019. I'm very, very happy to make some fun stuff with this, set it up to look really nice. I'm just so, stoked and yeah thank you so much for watching this video leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed i have instagram snapchat it's all linked down below so just follow me on there if you'd like to and yeah i'll see you in my next video bye